co-creator, former star of The Secret City, former host of PBS's Imagination Station, and also has a series on Amazon Prime. His books, television shows, webcasts, and countless other appearances have taught millions of people around the world how to draw in 3D, and he can teach your students too. Take it away, Mark. All right, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good. How does my sound? Do I sound pretty good? I think the sound sounds good. <laughs> Ah, how do I look? Do I look handsome? I, I did the, I did my my haircut just uh, last week, forgetting I had the this big presentation today. So you get the the happy bald marky today. Well, good day, everybody. Thank you so much for spending part of your precious day with me, uh, Whitney. You are a natural. What an awesome job uh, doing this first program. I'm I'm signed up for the next one. I'm. It is, as the earlier presenter said, it's such a treat to see the other presenters because as a, a artist, educator, presenter, I am, whenever I go to state conferences or uh, different international art education conferences, uh, or even uh, comic cons for that matter, I've been to teaching at uh, kids' family programs at comic cons at, in Dubai and in Paris and in India and New Delhi and Mumbai, all over the world, I always have to stay with my in my room and present my, and I never get to see all the others. So this was a real treat today. You can tell I have no problem filling the hour of the assembly. So I figure the, the best way to introduce myself, uh, thank you for that nice intro, Whitney, very professional, um, is I'll screen share. I'll show you, um, this opening I'm gonna show you is uh, a collaboration that I've been doing once a month, Saturday live. And I wanna invite your, you and your kids and your students to join me. The next one is coming up on October 12th. We I, I collaborate with NASA and with Team Artemis, drawing components of the NASA Artemis mission to the moon. And we invite different engineers that built that component, that space chute, that rocket, that uh, the, the, the crawler, the tower, and what's exciting is this, the 12th, we have uh, the, a real astronaut that is on the imagination, or I imagine, on the International Space Station, has been back and forth there. He's actually one of the Artemis astronauts going on this trip in 2024. Mission to the moon and beyond with the first female, the next man. So let me uh, s uh, share screen. I'll show you a quick 90 second uh, uh, open here. And then we'll get into a quick drawing. Like, oh, why we're doing this? Just stay, pretend that you're still watching me, but go grab paper and pencil. I want all you parents, all your grandparents, all your administrators, all your PTA team members, please try this. I'm going to do like a three or four minute sample drawing and you'll see how anyone really can draw. If you can write your name, you can draw in 3D. I promise. I've been doing it for 40 years and taught millions of kids. All right. Fist bump, for, wait, wait, quick. Fist bump for Whitney for doing a great job. Boom. Everybody take your hand. Whitney can say it. Bam! Whitney, did you see? Oh, you did! You gave yourself a fist bump. I love that. That is positive self-esteem there. I love that. All right, let's, uh, I just, I tell you. Ha! <laughs> Back here! Oh, by, by the way, I, uh, like an earlier presenter said, that the music, the music fellow who goes all over the world, he loves Zoom. I, it's amazing. Starting March 13th, I started doing Zoom. I canceled 100 programs all over the world and just did live Zoom, I tell you, I love it. I was born to Zoom. I have all these different monitors and I can see every child that can see their faces and if they're engaged or if they need me to pull them in a fist bump or a stuffed animal moment, stuffed animal moment, by the way, have all the kids make sure they have any stuffed animal ready. It's a, it's a way that I keep them engaged and pull them in because drawing is incredible and drawing is fun. Let's show this opening and I'll go back into Let's see if it works. All right, hold on here. All right, Melody, or uh, Melody, uh, Whitney, is it working? Are you seeing my, you are? Okay, so I've, these are all the episodes. These are on uh, YouTube. You guys go to my Mark Kistel YouTube channel and you can watch this. I'll just go, I'll show the opening of this one right here. And I hope you can hear it. I got to, I got to fast forward to the open. live show so all right here we go can you hear it Mel Whitney
I can, it's pretty quiet, but I can hear it. And we'll come back to my my face cam. Oh, sorry about that. Let me let me let me turn that off. One second here. This is the joy of live, isn't it, guys? Let me close that. There we go. And come back to my face, if you would, Whitney. Can you come back to my? Oh, is it on my face cam? There we go. Well, uh, that was the opening of my. Uh, uh, launch into space. I usually don't show that during the assembly. I just for you because you're special. All right, Wendy, come on down to my my hand cam. I'll I greet the kids. Hi, kids. We're gonna draw. How many of you love to draw? Raise your hand. Fist bump. Stuff down a moment. Come down to my hand if you would spot my, my hand. And welcome, welcome, guys. We're gonna draw in 3D. We're gonna have the most amazing time. All you need is your pencil and paper. Then start right here, put a dot in the middle of your paper and look at, you don't have to be exact. Just do the best you can. Okay, now draw a light. This is the most difficult thing for me to teach you kids is to draw lightly. Now the most difficult thing for me to teach your parents and your teachers is to draw literally anything on the planet at all. I know it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but it's just a matter of confidence. You kids are so brave. You kids are, are total geniuses and you're willing to try new things. You guys are geniuses. You are so smart. You're geniuses times two. Look at this. You're turbo geniuses. All right. You guys, you kids, you, you're like pencil power penguins just drifting down with your ideas imagination power. Now your parents and your teachers just need a little bit more encouragement. So I want you teachers and parents to join me. Put a dot right here in score number one. We're gonna do four squares. Okay, see where I have four squares starting score number one. And just, just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Draw a line going uphill. Draw a line going uphill. And I call this direction Northeast. We're gonna be talking a lot more about those different positions as we go on. Put a dot up high and then we're gonna draw a four shortened circle. That's one of these 12 words and your, your uh, teacher has the link to, to get every one of you kids this chart for you. You can print this up, you can have that print for free. And it's all 12 of these words that have been around for 500 years. Now watch what I'm gonna do. You're gonna love this. This is like magic for your pencil. As the pencil, uh, magic for your drawing, the pencil moves away, gets smaller as it moves away. That's called size. So there's two words. This is foreshortened circle. This is contour, okay? For foreshortening, it means squish and distort. You see you see the eyes of the minion? It's my favorite character, the minion. One of my students actually invented the minion character for Despicable Me. Now watch the, uh, watch the eyes. Now watch this, see how the goggle turns away from you? it becomes a squished foreshortened circle. Do you see that? It becomes, like I'm a big NASA geek, as you can tell. Let's, let me show you this. Look at the NASA badge. Now watch what happens is, as I move the NASA away, see that? It becomes squished. That's what we did with the end of the pencil. Now put the pencil lid right down the middle, put a guideline right down the middle, and put a dot right there at the very end. Now from right here, now, look at this. Oh, look what I did. Look what I did. Here, take, take, take your pencil. Take your finger and say, aha. See, everybody, put, hold your finger up and say it out loud. So I, yeah, aha. So your teacher turns in the classroom or your parents come around the corner from the room saying, what are you doing? It's okay, mom. I'm having an aha moment. Aha, you pencil power penguins. We go outside the square. We don't have to stop at that square. Look at that. We're going outside. We're breaking out of the square. It's just a suggestion. It's not a brick wall. Curve the end right here. That's called contour. And we're going to just draw this in 3D, taking our ideas. Now watch this. Put a horizon line down here. And it looks like your pencil's taking off. Look at this. It, the pencil is soaring. It's soaring. Look at it. I'm going to put Cheerio Power. 
I'm going to put Cheerio Power, your pencils in orbit. And of course, right here, write the word ordinary. Write the word ordinary. Whenever you draw anything, a pencil or a picture of a tree or a cloud, an airplane, or your little baby brother, I never even want you to draw an ordinary picture. I always want you to draw adding your extra ideas, add extra effort. Add, what does that say? What does that say? What does that say? Extraordinary. Underline that. Underline it. Exclamation. Exclamation. Make your drawing extraordinary. Make your day extraordinary. Make your life extra, extraordinary. So we're going to add extra ideas. Let's put two dots. And then I use a lot of guide dots to draw a four shortened circle. And then now teachers and, and uh, viewers of this presentation, you see I'm out of time, but I'm going to go a little longer. Look at this. You just you draw more and more details. Now this drawing right here uh, was the same drawing I taught the animators who created Kung Fu Panda. These are the same artists that uh, invented the uh, Star Wars, Frozen, Despicable Me. These are drawings that I created uh, of my students animated Wonder Woman and uh, Bayo Max right here. Um, if you want to see some of my old shows, The Secret City on PBS is available on the PBS app. This show right here, Imagination Station, was uh, this got to uh, millions of folks around the world in 1985. This is 1996. That's on Amazon Prime. And you're right. We actually won the Emmy for that one right there. So, oh my goodness, that time went fast. Um, here, real quick, I'll show you these pictures from the... Uh, the space these are saturday specials we're doing them every month you can have you can draw these even if you don't i hope you do i hope you hire me to do an assembly but hey yeah, go to youtube follow uh, follow our live shows these are wonderful here's some actual pictures of drawings that i did for school assemblies there was birchwood lanax there was white rock elementary school there was um and, and los encinos sand ridge and just goes on straw town Richmond, it just goes on and on. So if you come back to my face real quick, Melody, I'm sorry, Whitney, can you come back to my face? And I wanna end with my mission statement that's a poem by John Wesley. And my mission is to do all the good you can by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can for as long as you ever can. That pretty much sums up my 40 year career.